Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the gradient feather tool in Adobe InDesign. So to start with, I've created a new document and I'm going to select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift anywhere on the artboard to create a circle and we'll just give this circle a fill. Position that nice and centrally. And then we can select the gradient feather tool from the toolbar on the left. And we can single left click anywhere inside and it will add a gradient feather. So it will feather or soften one edge of our shape or the shape could be an image or a photograph. And it will effectively blend this into the background. So what we can do similarly to the gradient tool is we can left click and drag. So that first left click is going to be where our image is most visible. And then the when you let go of the mouse button, so the bottom right corner in this instance, that's where our image is going to fade out to. So if I release the mouse button now, you'll see that we have the stronger, darker pink up here and it fades out in the bottom right corner. Now, the same as the gradient tool, we could set this inside the circle, so without going outside the edge. So the top left part of the circle will be solid pink still. It won't be faded in any way. And the bottom right corner, because we're still in the circle, will fade out to white. Whereas if we do the same and start outside of the circle, quite a long way outside of the circle, actually it's just going to become that midpoint again so a very light a lighter version of that pink and then an even lighter version in the bottom right corner so it's not actually fading out we could even start at the center of the circle and drag to the bottom right still staying inside the circle and we'll get a lot more of that kind of deep rich pink here and it will still fade out to absolute white in that bottom right corner. So let's select the rectangle tool and we'll give this a different fill color and we'll make it fit the page. So imagine this were a photograph or, or even just a massive block of color within your design. You could select the gradient feather tool and if you needed to blend this out you might want a lot of this shape visible. So you could select about about three quarters of the way from the top. And we're just going to left click and hold shift to go straight down. So we're keeping that vertical and then just let go at the bottom. And what it will do is it will then show most of your image. So it keeps a lot of it visible, but if you need to, you can just use this tool to fade that image out at the bottom if you need to. And there we go. That's how you use the gradient feather tool in Adobe InDesign. As always, guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.